the star space. Oh man, I just want to go and see it. It's top 10 bizarre space conspiracies in history. Number 10, Flat Earth. Oh baby, it's bizarre, all right. Listen, I'm not gonna pretend to be a scientist or anything because, well, Truth be told, I'm the farthest thing from it. Really, if you looked at it, I'm nowhere close to a scientist. My science education goes about as far as high school, and even that's debatable because the teacher who was, well, teaching me chemistry uh, was a newfie. Nicest guy on planet Earth, but I have no idea what the hell he was talking about half the time. Literally, I have no idea. But I learned enough to get by, so I can more than confidently tell you that the Earth is, in fact, not flat. That's right, not flat. There is no ice wall, there is no global conspiracy of all the world's nations. While we could probably agree that the government or everyone's governments are hiding something, it most certainly isn't the knowledge that the Earth is flat. They're definitely not hiding that. That's, that's not what they're hiding. Lastly, if Earth is flat, then why are the other planets, moons, and other celestial bodies in our solar system round or spherical? We're flat, but everyone else is round and spherical. That, that, just, that just don't make any sense, partner. Number nine, Operation Paperclip. At the end of World War II, Americans were strolling through Germany one day and saw some really cool stuff. V2 rockets to be specific, ooh, -hoo, cool. And they said to themselves, ooh, yes please, I would like some of those for myself and the rest of America, thank you. So they rounded up some not so nice gentlemen who were in a lot of hot water and brought them back to America where, well, they helped develop military technology, but more importantly, rocket technology. This was all thought to be a crazy story, but it turns out to be true. Who would have thought? All about space. Like Werner von Braun, for example. Not so nice German guy, but was keen helping NASA develop rocket technology that got us to the moon. Yeah, he did. That's how it happened. That's life. Operation Paperclip. Number eight, Venus and Earth. Venus and Earth are both very close in size and mass. They also are made up of the same composition, not to mention that we're neighboring planets. It's pretty cool. But if you haven't noticed, one planet is full of life, water, oceans, and has McDonald's. The other is a galactic wasteland with an atmosphere 100 times thicker than Earth and it rains sulfuric acid on a hellish landscape below. Also, no McDonald's. <laughs> I think that's my indicator for like a, a planet. No McDonald's? I'm not going. The running theory is that Venus used to be a sister planet to Earth, or just like Earth, and may have supported life with oceans and all the beautiful stuff we have. However, whether it was the inhabitants of Venus or a natural disaster, she is no more. So the theory is there was something there, now there's not. Hmm, strange. Yeah, that's strange. Number seven, white holes. Black holes are those magnificent space holes with a gravitational pull so powerful that even light can't escape its grasp once it passes the point of no return called the Event Horizon. We're not sure if there is a yang to the yang of a black hole, but there's a theory that white holes exist. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, so if a black hole sucks everything in at the Event Horizon, then perhaps a white hole would push everything away. Hmm, pretty cool to think, right? Well, there isn't much evidence to support this. I would like to personally offer the scientific community my theory because <laughs> it's Chetty. What if the Big Bang was created by a white hole, meaning the earliest of the universe's expansion could have been done by a white hole? Uh, something to think about. You're welcome, science community. Just doing my part. Number six, the Fermi Paradox. In a nutshell, the Fermi Paradox states that the known universe is massive. It gets bigger each day. With all those millions and billions of stars and planets, planets out there, you'd think someone would have come by in their flying saucer and said, hello. Well, that may not be the case because, well, we may be it. Personally, I believe there is life somewhere out there, but somewhere is really far away. It's so far, too far to even think about. It, it really hurts to think about how far away it is. But the Fermi Paradox argues that it would have happened by now, and the fact that it hasn't solidifies the scary and cold truth that we might be the only living and thinking creatures in a deep, dark, infinite void known as space. Man, that's heavy. Number five, Planet X. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and sometimes Pluto. Depends if Neil deGrasse Tyson's in the room. He's not too cool about that one. He doesn't like that one. That's our little slice of cosmic life in the Milky Way galaxy. However, some scientists believe that there may be another large planet hiding out in the sun's orbit. Planet X, as it's been known to be called. Some think it's so large and mysterious that it has its gravitational effects even here on Earth, which is crazy because it's so far away. How However, due to the theory stating its long orbit, we haven't seen it yet, or, you know, it's not there to begin with. There's also that possibility as well. Yeah.
yes, it's fascinating, but we know that there's other planets beyond our solar system, so it could be there. It's, it's really just really amazing to think about. Man, I love space. I love space stuff. Number four, the moon landing. There are some out there who claim the moon landing never happened. It was fake, not real. It was a fugazi, says a guy with a tinfoil hat on his head drinking Mountain Dew in his mother's basement. While the folks who wear tinfoil have a point, there's tons of shady stuff surrounding the moon landing. There is, it's crazy. Especially to the average folks like you and me, it doesn't really add up. Missing recordings, footage being altered, light sources not matching up, and some claiming it was even done in a studio, which, hey, there's lots of magic done in the studio, like me right here, right now, yeah. And one of their biggest claims to fame, or their big point, is that they never went back, which, well, that's just not true because 24 US astronauts have been to the moon, 12 of which of those astronauts got to walk on the surface. The truth of the matter is, once you go up and pick up a few rocks, well, it's just not that special. It's little rocks on a big rock. Plus, with gas prices these days, can you imagine what it costs to fill up a booster rocket with space juice? Who's gonna front that bill? You guys gonna front that? I don't think so, man. That's too much money. Oh, hurts to think about. My wallet. Number three, the multiverse. Ever been at the fork of the road and had to make a decision? Well, what if I told you every time you make a choice, you unknowingly create an alternate universe where you made the other choice? Mm. While this is just some mind-bending fun to think about by the campfire with your friends, it is actually a hypothesis that multiple universes exist just like in the Marvel movies. Pretty close, actually. Let's take one universe where there is Avengers, one where Thor isn't a gorgeous actor from Down Under, and maybe, maybe there's a universe where I'm good at math. <gasps> Oh, I'd like to go to that one, that'd be kinda cool. I mean, who really knows? I don't, I wish I was good at math. I'd explain the quantum physics of it, but that's a job for smart me in another universe. You know what, it's probably universe 3.14 because of pi and math, that's smart, that's cute. Number two, Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell, New Mexico, 1947. A UFO crash lands in the desert. Government agencies and the military quickly try to cover up what's happened. The crash debris is taken to Area 51 just to make a good story, and for years people claimed it was little green men and were being tested on at Area 51. <laughs> what? Yeah, so much so that Roswell, New Mexico has now adopted aliens as their own identity. Pretty cool. And the conspiracy, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, sure. However, many years later, it was declassified that it was actually just a weather balloon and it was nothing to be thought of that much and they're just kind of crazy. Although, that's what the government would want you to think though, isn't it? Oh, sure. Number one, nature finds a way. Okay, this one is cool. So basically, we're all made of the same stuff. No matter which way you look at it, we're all made of star stuff. And if the conditions on another planet were similar to ours, then there's quite the chance, or the probability, that nature would find a way. What do I mean by that? Well, it means that life would most likely be similar on other planets like ours, and not weird tentacle monsters with green skin and weirdos like, well, like we think aliens are. So that means if a deer on this planet is a deer, that means a deer on another planet could be very similar to a deer, or at least maybe even the same. Oh man, life always finds a way. That's crazy. That's insane. That's a crazy theory. You could run into other us. Wow. That's gonna wrap it up for me today, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe here at Bumblebee for more. And if you too want to travel the deep, dark, void of space with me, then check out my social somewhere down below. Hit that follow button. Just Oh yeah, baby. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Stay sweet, my little honeybees.